Hey, Nolan the pond guy, nice to meet you. Now, are you the one that's super into this pond? Yeah. Come over here for a second. What was your idea? To let them know that we have a, a surprise. What's the surprise gonna be? We're gonna give Nolan a pond. Dude. So stay tuned, at the end of this video, we're gonna surprise Nolan with his own Aquascape ecosystem pond. I love my job. <laughs> So Chris Ostrander, Living Water Landscapes. We have a kind of a special story here, or what is this? Special story for this one is gonna be about the neighbor, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm looking forward to that. Wh which house? It's the house with the red door right over there. Oh, right across the street. Yeah, he's a big fan of yours. Nice, and we've got Michelle, your beautiful, your beautiful better half. This is a pond. This is a pond that's gonna be a little different than some of the other ones that you might see on your channel. It was constructed differently, but the way it's rocked in. The rocks kind of lean up against the side of the pond. We added your filtration. Was it an existing pond? Existing pond okay. with bad filtration systems. Uh -huh. We added an Aquascapes uh, intake bed and we added an Aquascapes 6,000 biofalls. All right, let's go check this out. Hi, Jerry. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I like your statue. Yeah. Looks like Michelle. <laughs> I check it for fingerprints after you leave it. <laughs> I like this guy already. I'm the pond guy, Greg. How you doing, Greg? Hi, Greg. Janice. Hi, Janice. Well, I gotta teach you the busy man's handshake. Excuse me, I got a phone call. <laughs> All right, let's go this check this out. So this is the little paradise, huh? Oh my, gorgeous. Well, I gotta tell you, it actually matches the inside of your house. You're definitely into art, huh? Wow, very cool, very eclectic. What's the story with this pond? So the pond kind of existed, but not like this. It sort of existed like this over here. So it was smaller. Well, this was here also, just your filtration system wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And the waterfall was way different. Mm -hmm. The rehab has been uh, fabulous. Chris, how long ago did you do a rehab here? We just left here a couple, three weeks ago. What's been fabulous about the rehab? You said the rehab was fabulous. There's zero maintenance. <laughs> Chris. I have bottle brushes and uh. I have that foamy stuck under the Traditional water. koi filters? Yeah, we had an old skimmer box, different brand that had collapsed. It was no longer working, the pump couldn't come in and out of it. It wasn't, the net wasn't working well. Filter up at the top, the biological, the old one was undersized, it was inadequate, so the water didn't stay clear, it was always grimy, it never had clear water. And now? Crystal clear. The new power head is amazing. You know, we've okay. been using it all over the place. Oh, I can see it. It's right here. This area has no circulation, right? The waterfall is midway. It wasn't in the budget to bring the waterfall all the way down here and redo all that. So we just put the waterfall back where it was, replaced the filtration for it, rebuilt the waterfall, and then down here to circulate this area, we put one of the power heads in. You could see the, the top of it, how it just gets pressed along. Right, no debris. This used to fill up really fast with silt and so debris. So there it is right there. It's all clean down there now. Mm -hmm. So your neighbor loves this. My neighbor is into nature. Could you tell me a little bit about him? There's two boys that live across the street. They live across the street. They both have a, I guess it's congenital, a problem that they've had since maybe age two. It's a digestive problem, right? Yes, their blood cells are constantly fighting off everything. They are allergic to nuts, mm -hmm. selfish, probably everything you can think of both on pick lines right now. The 13 year old loves nature. He usually comes and feeds my fish in the morning. He's an amazing little kid. Yeah, he showed up when he saw the trucks here yeah. wondering what we were doing to his pond. <laughs> <laughs> his pot. Hey, who's this puppy? Who are these guys? So this is the neighbors, huh? And these are your two boys? Yeah, this is Nolan and Ethan. Hey, Nolan the pond guy. Nice to meet you. Now, are you the one that's super into this pond? Yeah. And then your brother that's super into computers? Yeah. <laughs> and then your mom? Hi, yes. What's your name? Jamie. Jamie, Nolan, and Ethan. Ethan. All right. So Nolan, come over here, buddy. So tell me what you like about this pond. It's everything. It looks amazing. So what do you do when you come over here? Watch the fish feed uh, them. Listen to the waterfall. That's good. So you're living the aquascape lifestyle as what are you 14? 12. 12. Okay. Well, guess what? Mom, when I was 12, this guy's age, I built my first pond. We read all about you. We met your videos when you made JB his pond. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll put a link to Justin Bieber's vlog down here. We watched that whole thing and it was very exciting because Nolan loves all water, any animal really. That's cool. Well, this is just like I was when I was when I was his age. Your mom must have been really busy then. Uh, yes, my mom definitely. I gave her a lot of fits. I was not a traditional kid by any means. Yeah. So you're, both your boys are homeschooled, and they have celiacs? They have eosinophilic gastroenterology. Okay, I can't pronounce that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so they got feeding so, tubes. Feeding tubes, and they have lines, central lines in their heart. So they get oh, IV man. nutrition that keeps them growing and thriving. They both look like good, solid kids here. You're blessed by the medical technology. But very different. This guy's a computer guy and this guy's a nature guy, right? Yeah. 
Okay. Can I see what you got over there? All that. We're not home. We're at the hospital, so home is our uh, respite place, a place for healing and enjoying nature. So you, you have the two boys? Just the two, yeah, because mm. they were both born with this rare genetic disease that destroyed their GI tract. That's why the feeding tubes. During the day, they get a little bit of break just to be kids and not on ID. Uh huh. Or pumps or things, so that's why we love animals. And you homeschool the kids? So that this is nature at home then, nature you know. Nature at home, yep. Science yeah. all the time. <laughs> Amen. The Our yard. Beautiful. Nice big deep backyard for the kids to play in. Didn't this get donated? This was um, Nolan's Make-A-Wish. So this was Make-A-Wish that did this, huh? Make-A-Wish, which is awesome. Our community, our neighbors, so many people got involved in this and made it like a dream little house. And it's got electricity and air conditioning. Are you serious? And we were blown away. We all love this space. It's been just such a respite and such a wonderful place to come and ocean theme of course. Uh-huh, yeah. And it's a stiff flare painted that. That's from our very own artist. Hey, that's pretty impressive. Um, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Many hands were involved in donations and people for this and so we are super blessed. Let me get a group picture with everybody right here by the Make-A-Wish Club. This is pretty awesome. Everybody over here. Oh, this is this is your little this is your little escape place, right? Chris and I were talking, Nolan, on the way over here. He said that you're always at the neighbor's house in their pond. We'd love to get you your own pond. Really? Yeah. Chris is going to design, use his labor to install an Aquascape ecosystem pond, and Aquascapes is going to donate it to you just like the Make-A-Wish did. And I think right along here would be a perfect place for a little Aquascape ecosystem pond kit. It's going to be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank, thank Living Water Landscapes that, that did this, be, and thank your neighbors for turning you on to this, this hobby. The next time that uh, people see you, you're going to be putting your feet right off of the edge of here into a, into a pond. We got Brian here from Great Lakes Pondscapes. Our distributor up here, yes. Brian is a child cancer survivor himself, yeah. so we thought get you your own Aquascape Ecosystem Pond. You could still visit the neighbors. I'm sure she'll yeah. let you over there. You know what? She might just want to come over and visit you now too, buddy. I think that's going to be awesome. <laughs> what are you thinking here, Chris? I'm thinking right along with this beautiful backdrop, putting a little water feature right in here. We've got a couple different options here. We got a little hill over there too on that side. And yes. And a door going out mm -hmm. from the clubhouse. But yeah, we got this spot over here too. I really love the idea of kind of putting it where we can actually cantilever it with the on the edge of this house, maybe a kidney bean shape right on the edge. What would be really cool is to put a little bridge in here and to have a pond come over here and then come over to this side with a little waterfalls next to it. A waterfalls on this side, a stream right over here, and then a pond right in here. I don't disagree. Yeah, that's a, that's a... I've done this a few times before. We better run this by mom. Oh yeah, mom, what do you think? You guys have lots of ideas. We're the creative experts, so I just have to be able to mow around it and maintain it. Yep. Well, we're going to give you less grass to cut. Let's get the garden hose out and design it out. How's that sound? We'll kind of lay this out right now. Nolan, you want to help? All right, yeah, we're gonna lay this out. What do you think, bro? <laughs> this is gonna be really fun for us, too. I love the idea of having a waterfall, maybe about this high, Mom, you know, knee high, coming down, falling into a little upper pool, and then a stream coming over, and then we'll put a little stepping stone across here, replace one of these with a stepping stone, going into a pond that's kind of a kidney bean shape, right around the Make-A-Wish Foundation Clubhouse. I mean, look at the view. This, gorgeous. this is going to be a spectacular, all that water is going to be facing the house. You're going to hear that sound when you open up these windows. You got the birds coming down right here. We like to say a water feature changes a house into a home. Every Make a Wish Foundation clubhouse needs a water feature, but people just don't know it yet. Now they're going to know it. What do you think, Mom? It's amazing. Thank you. Thanks. You've been through a lot, Mom. Homeschooling the kids. So this will also be not just a sanctuary oh, for the kids, it's yes. going to be therapy for you, too. We all love it and enjoy it when everyone comes over and sits and just taking it in and one day at a time. Right? Amen. Well, you have a wonderful family, Thank and you. now with Living Water Landscapes, you're going to have a beautiful aquascape Thank ecosystem you. pond for the whole family to enjoy. What a blessing. Thank you so much. I can't wait till you tell your husband. Yes. These guys came over and they're going to build a pond. <laughs> and, and just so that you know, we'll get this done in one day. One day? One day. That's one day. Amazing. So you won't have to worry about anything. But we need Nolan to help. Okay, so you can you're help, right? Hey, you gotta be happy with your brother. This is pretty dope, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that is awesome. I'm glad for him. I didn't know anything about this until Chris told me about Nolan who was always over there. He said, you have to meet this kid. And it was Chris's idea. This was not my idea to donate this water feature for him. This is an ecosystem-based water feature. This kid is going to absolutely, this is going to change this yard into a home. He's not going to have to just go to the neighbor's house to enjoy nature. He's going to be able to walk into his backyard. And this family has been through so much. The mom who's basically dedicated her life to raising and teaching her two sons with all of these challenges that they have. This is going to be a sanctuary for her too. This is what I love to do. Someday, I just want to give away ponds to deserving people because there's a 
lot of deserving people out there. If you like this stuff, please share. More people need to know what living the aquascape lifestyle is about. I always say it, I finish every vlog, perfect one to do it on too. I love my job.